Hello. In this session, you will learn how to create PowerPoints and how to populate information from Salesforce directly into your PowerPoints. So what we're going to do here today is we have a merge field called account name, and we actually have that uh, merge field in the uh, document twice. We have it on slide one and we have it on slide number three. Next to that, we want to uh, show hide a slide. So depending on some criteria, we're going to show this slide or going to hide this slide. Uh, we, of course, going to show a number uh, so that uh, also the formatting can be uh, taken into account. Um, uh, a picture so that we can add a picture to our overview, our slide deck. And then last but not least, we're going to repeat an, uh, a bullet point list or a numbered list in this case and a table. So a row in the table. OK, let's get started. So I'm uh, going to save this one more time. And then I'm going to head over to Salesforce. So I already created the doc config. Now I'm going to open up uh, the PDF Butler configuration screen. And the first thing I'm going to do is upload my template. So I'm going to add some data sources. I need some data from my accounts. So I'm going to take one of the accounts um, items that I have here. OK, so that's all I need for now. Then I'm going to take my uh, I'm going to take another data source to get my opportunities from the account. So OK, I just need this information. That's fine. And then I also want to maybe uh, add a picture on the account. So to add a picture, I have a picture data source because it's just going to be a logo that's on my account. For instance, uh, this logo here that I've uploaded and the logo just says, OK, uh, or the picture data source, as you can see here, picture list data source. It's going to fetch it from the files. It has to start with logo um, and it's related to my account. So my account data source. So I'm going to go to my account data source and find this uh, a child one. Yes, it's there. So now I have all my data sources already. Let's already save it intermediately. And then I'm going to look at um, the documents to start filling it step by step. I'm going to copy over the account name merge field. So I'm going to add a config type here, account name. That's going to be a single data from the account name and then fill in the merge field. OK, that's one. Um, let's do another one for the annual revenue on my account. OK, so I'm going to take this one over here then take account. Um, annual revenue, I want, of course, currency formatting and then fill in the annual revenue. OK, let's save this and let's maybe already do a test to see if this is working fine. I'm going to go to one of my opportunities. And then here I'm going to go into edit page. Copy my ID of the account, uh, sorry, of the doc config. And then I'm going to add uh, here a new component specifically for my doc config so i want to download it i don't want to see a preview um, okay that's it let's save so if i go back and now i can already test if the account name and the revenue is filled in correctly so now the document is being generated okay and downloading the powerpoint let's take a look if the PowerPoint looks OK. So I expect here to see um, the revenue, of course, and the account name being filled. So yeah, we have the account name already, Edge Communications. Also, we see Edge Communications. And the revenue looks quite OK as well. It's filled in and it's uh, formatted as we like to format it here in Europe. OK, so looking good. Now let's take a look at some other items that we're going to uh, to do. Let's take a look at uh, showing and hiding a certain uh, a certain slide. So this is the slide I want to hide, and let's see when do I want to hide it. Maybe I want to hide it when um, 
the number of employees is or when the industry is uh, uh, in electronics. Let's take a look which fields do I have on my uh, accounts object. So I have uh, revenue, SharePoint site, ID, phone name, site, type. Okay, so let's take a look again to, uh, uh, let's do when the type is customer direct, then I want to uh, show it and otherwise I want to hide it. So let's say when the customer is other, I want to uh, hide it. Okay, so let's create a new config type. It's going to be of uh, remove slides. Um, then it's on the account. The merge field is what we have just seen. I want to remove the entire paragraph. The merge field, I'm going to add a condition and I'm going to say that the, uh, the type uh, equals other. So when the type equals other, it will remove the slide. Let's save this and then let's generate it again. So now the type is uh, customer direct. So if I would generate it, Okay, let's open the slides. And then as you can see, the slide is uh, showing. Okay, let's uh, go back to my slides. Uh, sorry, to Salesforce. And now let's change the type to other. Okay. And if I generate it now, it should actually hide the slide. So slide is already there. Let's download it. Yes, indeed. So the slide is uh, is removed. So it should have been slide number um, five, I think, or six. And now you see the slide is gone. Okay, so that's also functioning. So I think I have one thing left. Uh, no, so a few things left. So next up is a picture. So for this picture, we have a picture placeholder. And if we go and select the selection pane, then this picture is called picture one. Okay, so now I go back to the configuration. And in the configuration, I'm going to say, I want to add a picture. Okay, oh, that's a title. Uh, a picture, so in the merge field, is going to be this one. Okay, and then maybe we can add one more, and that's going to be the, uh, let's say, the opportunity name that we're going to repeat here. So, and then we add a config type, let's say opportunity name. Um, the type is going to be paragraph or bullets. Data source is going to be all opportunities from accounts. And then this is the, uh, okay. And then just like you would expect, I'm going to create a child here of type single. Uh, it's going to take the, uh, the name and then the opportunity name. And then next up is that I'm going to generate also the price. So let's take the opportunity price. And that's a single, the it's an amount and it should be currency formatting. Okay, opportunity price. Um, and then let's also do last but le not least, let's also do the uh, the upper a table row. So let's add a config type. Okay, this is of type uh, table row. Then it's again uh, all opportunities from accounts. Okay, and this one, and same as above, we're gonna add two child dot uh, config types, uh, one for the account name. Okay, and the other one for the the price, the opportunity amount. Oh, sorry, yeah, the opportunity amount. So, okay, and this is the last one, and then I think we have covered uh, most of the items that we wanted to cover today. So I add this config type save it one more time and then let's generate so i'm gonna go here generate it it's already done if i look at my powerpoint then it's opening now and okay edge communications was already done it's removing slide number six because of its other we have the revenue here we have the salesforce cloud here as you can see 
um, we have then the overview of all the uh, the opportunities that are there. So that's looking great. All of the stuff that we have. Yeah, in this case, we have four of the same opportunities, but all of the functionality was actually functioning exactly as I would expect.